Hi, my name is Jen and I'm from the Biomedical Engineering Department at Worcester Polytechnic Institute. I'm here today to show you a short video tutorial on how to load a sample for three-point bending testing using our Instron 5544 materials testing system and the Flexure fixture. For a video description of the different types of grips available and a video tutorial on how to install and remove the Flexure fixture, please check out our YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be using the smaller of our two bottom assemblies. For larger samples, you may need to use the larger assembly, but the loading is very similar. The first thing you must do is set the safety stops. Slowly jog the actuator down until the tip of the upper anvil is about halfway between the tips of the lower anvils and the base plate. Move the safety stop up so it will trip at this point. Now jog the actuator back up so that the upper anvil is way, well away from the bottom assembly. Next, you're going to need to determine the distance between the two lower anvils. Once you have determined that distance, use a wrench to hold the nuts on the bottom of the assembly still while you loosen the bolt slightly with a six millimeter hex key. Once these are loose, the anvils will be able to move freely along the assembly. Use the markings on the anvils and the ruler on the front of the assembly to move the anvils to the desired position. And then re-tighten the bolts using the wrench and the six millimeter hex key. Place your sample across the lower anvils, centered between them. Use the actuator to jog down until the upper anvil is just slightly above the sample, and then use the fine position knob to slowly lower the anvil until it is touching the sample and the desired tear load is achieved. Make any necessary measurements, double check your safety stops, put up the safety shield, and you're ready to start testing.